Here we see a pretty good setup. Um, he's behind the ball with his head. I would like to see the ball maybe an inch or so further forward uh, and his hands a little further forward, more off his lead hip. Uh, so he's got a little forward press going on. What happens on his takeaway, where he gets into trouble, is on his takeaway, he sways back off the ball. See that? I was swaying back off the line. Puts him in an awkward position now. Uh, the legs have stayed nice. Now if he drives his right knee to the left knee, he'll get some power. But he doesn't do that. See? It's not moving at all. Now it's going. So what he's doing now is he's actually hitting the ball with his a scooping motion. Uh, the lead wrist is buckling. Uh, the club is being released. We're not getting a good rotation through the ball. We need to have the club at about here as he's coming into the ball. He's released all of the leverage. Uh, that's robbing him of all his power and speed. We don't get the crack the whip sensation. That's what he's got to work on. It's really hard to do that. Comes to a nice finish though. Ends up nicely balanced. So we can just get him to hold that leg that he's got right there. See the huge amount of leg that he has right there? But he loses it before he gets to the red line. This red line. See that? It's all gone. That's called casting. You're throwing the head of the club at the ball rather than trying to pull the handle from this line right here. Pull the handle down to the ball. Uh, you can keep that 90 degree lever a long time if you pull the handle through. One of the things I like to look for is do we have a setup that puts us behind the ball in a balanced position? Um, most golfers have a tendency to turn and face the ball so their whole bodies are open and they end up not being in the proper position and setup. You can see that here. His uh, lead shoulder should be back on the red line. Uh, that should be a straight line. We tend to set up with the straight line on the left side instead of the straight line on the, I mean on the uh, trail side instead of the straight line on the lead side. So what's going to happen now is he takes off, he's going to move way behind the line. So he's going to slide way off of it. Now that's actually again the reverse pivot. You see a lot of bend in his left elbow. Uh, the reason the left elbow is bending so much is if you look closely you'll notice that the right elbow is bent well past 90 degrees. It doesn't have to go that far. You're better off being 90 degrees. Create a nice little box line uh, from uh, the upper arm of the uh, trail arm, forearm of the trail arm and the club should make a nice little box line. You can see his is going to be all broken down. Now he's going to drive back into it pretty nicely there though. Gets that good drive into it, maintaining the club leg pretty good, letting his hands get past the ball before impact, on through to a nice finish. Pretty good motion there and, and a pretty decent finish, not bad. Um, I'd work a little bit on the setup, try to get a little bit more behind the ball at setup, especially with the ball feed that ball far forward. Um, but fairly minor. I mean, for, for, for a golfer, this wants to go out and have fun. That was a pretty good swing. Here we see a really good setup. Uh, from this angle, we'd like to see the lead arm higher than the trail arm. The trail arm elbow pointing down towards the hip. Uh, he could have that tucked in even a little bit better. But everything seems to be lined up pretty good. It's a little odd. He has a tendency to line up with the ball way out on the toe of his club. But I think we'll see why. We're just going to draw in uh, some lines here. We'll do it in white and match his shirt. Take a club down here. That's his arms. We'll go. I want to undo that one. I didn't like that one. Go in here. That's where his butt is. And let's just see how, how he maintains those angles. So we're going to start it back nice and slow. Now you can see he's lifting here. What happens? He gets to here pretty good. Everything's moving in unison. But at about this point, notice his shoulders aren't turning anymore. He's raising the club with his hands. Uh, what I'd like to see him is continue the rotation of his upper body throughout the swing. His hands are staying on the plane line very nicely. Now he's going to turn. But look at his shoulders. They haven't turned parallel to the swing plane. The swing plane is the white line I drew in um, with the golf shaft. The swing plane line, the shoulder plane line, is parallel to that. And it points to a spot outside the ball here. You can see that he doesn't quite get on that. As a matter of fact, his shoulders are quite level with the ground. He does drop the club nicely to the inside, though. This is very classic. 
Notice how the elbow is coming in and tucking right into the side in front of his hip. It could be even, even a little bit more in front if you wanted to. It's going to come through. His hands have gotten a little higher. That's why he sets up with the with the ball out on the toes because as his hands come out, notice where the club face is right on the target line. Beautiful impact position on through. Give it after the golf ball. Nice ball flight. Now his shoulders are turning through. Club's a little low. I'd like to see the club up a, a little higher, uh, probably on that line again that's parallel to where he was at setup. It's below that a little bit. Good rotation. Nice parallel finish. Very nice job. A couple of things to work on. It seems pretty common that the amateur golfer sets up tilted that way. Uh, what I'd like to see is that his shoulder be on the same line as his leg. And you can see we, we tend to do it the other direction. We, we tend to have it so that this line is the straight line. Um, the other one is curved. Uh, what we have to do is we have to learn how to tilt away from the target a little bit. Let's watch the takeaway. What he'll do on the takeaway, see how it kind of looks like he's tipping over towards the target line instead of getting behind it. That's really a reverse pivot. It's called we're actually pivoting on the front leg rather than the back leg. He has an issue with power. What happens is he ends up with all his weight on the front leg because he's tipped over. And as he comes forward, the weight's going back the other way. Um, so he's moving away, or he's moving his mass away from the power side. You can see how far back he is. Um, the mechanics of the swing are pretty good, but the setup position puts him in a bad place. He never gets rotated around, so he's up onto the forward power line. We need to work on that a little bit, and I think he will.